Well, they don't want this mirror, Laura. That's unreal. I know they're here. Are you? Are you serious? Well, I owe you a heavy, Dean. Really? It just snapped right off. What is up everybody, Jesse Southern Reels Fishing back out on the water in the kayak again as you can see. And I'm very stoked to be out here because today we are in the land of the giant trout. Actually this area here has been known to produce some of the biggest trout in the state of North Carolina and I'm very happy to be here fishing, hanging out with one of my buddies today. We're going to be exploring this creek, seeing what we can find and make the best of this 75 degree day in January. So wish us luck, see what we can get on, thanks. All right, folks, so today we're going to be doing a variety of stuff. Throwing a soft plastic Z-Mans, also have popping cork set up, mirror lore. I mean, typical trout stuff, you know. A lot of snags up in this area, as you see trees blowing over, debris in the water. You definitely have to be real careful with crankbaits, mirror lore, stuff like that, because it can get expensive quick up in here. Water temperature is 55 degrees, which is phenomenal. I am seeing schools of happy bait fish swimming around. There is most definitely plenty of life up in here. Blessed to have a day like this in January. Actually, the weather this year so far has been very kind to us. Hopefully we don't get a big freeze off to kill all these trout. Because if we don't, next year is gonna be off the hook. Well, actually on the hook, you should say. Bunch of giant trout on the hook. <laughs> Seems like swim baits are doing good. He's trolling. I really don't want to be trolling. I try to get them casting. Of course, sometimes trolling just works. That's four on it. I mean, no big ones yet, but 17 to 19. Not bad. Heck yeah. Not bad. Seems like any soft plastic would work. Hey, look. That quarter ounce, you can be barely moving and that tail's wagging like crazy and you put a little rattle on it. You don't even have to put a rattle on it. Most people don't, but I do. Well, y'all, we up in this creek here, man, and there are so many fish up in here. Look at all that. I was actually going to try to sight fish some of them. My brother here, he just got him a monster. He's already on like his 10th fish. I haven't caught jack yet. Well, we're gonna see what we got. Cause he's in a couple tournaments and I got scales right here. Look at that monster, man. That's a beast. Here you go, a little board. What's that? Come on, he's still on the hook, just in case. Don't matter. Uh, he's just 24. 20, 24, I don't man, I thought he was bigger than that. Me too, but he's fat. You wanna weigh him? Huh? You got digital or? Is yeah, it... I got digital. Oh, is he suspended? I can't read it. What is it? 4.65. That says 4.65. 4.65 pounds. Still, that is a damn awesome trout, man. Yeah. They're definitely in here, dude. There are so many. Just... The sonar through here is just littered with big ass fish. The live scope. Yeah. Dude, I ain't taking to the little puppy farm. All right, y'all, I seriously got to shake this uh, monkey off my back because I ain't caught a fish yet. It's crazy. Chris, he has caught 13 trout so far. Almost all of them trolling. Actually, all of them trolling. I've been trying my damnedest to cast to catch them. I just can't seem to make it happen. So I'm resorting to trolling myself. It's not my favorite thing to do, but getting skunked is a less favorite thing to do. <laughs> Well, folks, it took me almost all day, but I finally caught a drought. Unbelievable. Talking about grinding it out. Chris, he's been wearing them out today and I just have not had the luck. Unbelievable, it ain't even nothing special either. Thank you, man. Just gotta keep fishing, y'all. Even when it beats you up a little bit, that's fishing sometimes. Good land, there we go. 
Man, he's way back there too. I was probably trolling at about 12, 14 feet right then. Nice one. I try to keep the other one going. Nice trout. Yeah, pretty one. Hey man, it's keeper, probably 16, 17 inches. Hey buddy, tell your friends to come bite. I literally just turned the camera off and I hooked up with one. So a very decent one too. By far my best one today. I'm gonna give this guy a quick measure. Him back in the water. Mm, that's 20. Not bad. Beautiful trout. Gosh, what do you got? Well, that's one on this halo shad thingy. And one on my striper lure for freshwater fishing. <laughs> trout fishing is a bit odd down here. All of the stuff that I use up in Virginia doesn't seem to work. Thankfully, my buddy kind of gave me some advice on what to throw. I was stubborn at first, I'll be honest, and it cost me because I didn't catch anything. Tried mirror lures, mm. nothing. Tried jigs, tried lipped crankbaits, even tried a rattle trap. A whole cup full of failed tries right here that I got to clean tonight. None worked. Mm. I figure, if I said, I'm sure the weather's got something to do with it, but. Oh, and right on cue. Good land. Crap, I went on there, I got to turn around. Arr, damn it. Felt like a pretty decent one too. Oh, just doing some last minute trolling here. You're serious? Good lord. Ha! Reverse. Hell yeah. That's like a good one. Oh, he is not happy at all. A nice trout. Probably a 20 inch at least. Thank you, guy. There we go. Another nice one. Yeah. Thank you, man. Another 18, 19 incher. Peace, bro. We'll switch right there. All right. Yeah, I appreciate that. Put my headlamp on in a second. I got one right in the truck. <laughs> What's this? Did I caught on my big yellow. On your what? Good land. <laughs> on your big what now? On the, uh, the gummy. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he hit it that time. I, look, I was letting it drop, and he hit it on the drop. Ah, dang it. Got off. That's all right. I ain't even keeping them anyway. Ah, he's probably about 18. Why aren't you using these? Ah, man, the GT baits delivering shit huh? no complaint see no complaint. see it hooked right up right there huh? when i stopped it hooked up <laughs> i'm telling you dude that's cool so i almost wonder if they will bite casting now that's a nice one that's decent heck yeah Finally. 
Oh, it's, it can still see it. It's a 22. It's pretty fish. All right, hey folks, Jesse here, and I just wanted to jump in at the end of this video and talk about what I learned this particular day, and that is to not discredit the effectiveness of trolling for trout, especially during a tough bite. I casted four or five hours this day being stubborn, tried every possible combination, just convinced that I could get them casting, and it just wasn't happening. Finally, I switched out to trolling. I started throwing some swim baits, which is what my buddy was using, and trolling a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half, an hour, and immediately started catching fish. There's just something about that trolling presentation that just can't be easily recreated casting. And I tried, but anyway, lesson learned. When in doubt, troll it out. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, whatever. That was stupid. So anyway, peace out. See you in the next video.